Hi, John here again from Variable. Uh, welcome back. I wanted to really show you the share, function, uh, share palette functionality here um, due to our technical difficulties in the last video. So uh, you'll see I basically shared it with myself here. Uh, you'll see the double listing of the URLs. This is an Apple issue. Um, we're well aware of it and are, are working to, uh, towards a solution here. So stay tuned on that. Um, I'm going to basically click on that unique URL. And you'll see that uh, the CMG logo front and center, as well as the title. I named my palette um, by client, by project, whatever works for you, whatever you like. You'll then see the individual swatches. Um, those two scans at the top, those are two I did at the end of the last session. Um, they only display the hex codes since we did not relate them to a specific library. Um, a paint color, a textile color, a CMG a trend library, a Munsell color, NCS color, none of those. Uh, but at any time, I can go back into my history in the main menu, pull up that color, and then get the um, appropriate closest match to whichever library I have selected. Uh, scrolling down, you'll also see the images uh, that are attached to that palette. Um, on this NCS color, another little bug, we're redesigning um, this share screen um, to incorporate you know, uh, more real estate or not show um, all of those values until they're clicked on. Um, but you basically uh, you know, see the image, uh, the image set that you've um, saved to this palette. Uh, you can then at the bottom too, share it over uh, Twitter, Pinterest, or Facebook, or go back to that unique URL and share it that way. Uh, you'll also see the download ASE file. This is a great way to get these colors and put them directly into Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, InDesign, any of the Adobe products. Um, so as always, uh, let me know if you have any questions at all. My email is john.kowalski at variableinc.com. Thank you.